Yup. I got another new fragrance. Oh, and I got an email, and I swear to God that was not edited. Oh, it wasn't an email. It's a reminder for me to study for my science quiz, but instead, I'm going to make a YouTube video. I'm just going to set this for 2.30 instead of 2. 2.30. Okay. The quiz is until Wednesday. It's <coughs> Sunday today. I'll be fine. All right, so. My dad and I, we went to Sephora, and this was... About 20 minutes away, maybe. Maybe 15 minutes. They didn't have the fragrance I wanted. We'll get to what, we'll get to the one I wanted later. Uh, they didn't have it, and we were like, okay, great. Um, um, just gonna go now. And we left, and we went to another Sephora, and sure enough, they had it. Um, which is good. The fragrance that I'm talking about is none other and Royal Lime. Ah, uh, gotcha, no. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if you can tell what it is, just from looking at the box. Most fragrance kind of sewers can probably just tell straight up, but I don't know. All right, oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I got Versace Eros. Yep, Versace Eros. Uh, or the non-fragrance kind of sewers say, Versace Eros, if you say Eros, um, but anyway, yeah, so I got Versace Eros at Sephora, but I've been doing, I've been doing my set of chores for the last few weeks, and I've worked up enough money, because I have $46 here now, right, and this fragrance right here was $72, so I'm paying $46, my dad is paying, I think, $16, let's see, what's the math? 50 to 76 would be, no, 50 to 76 would be 26. He's paying 30, I'm sorry. I'm paying 44, my dad is paying 30. No, no, I'm paying 46, my dad is paying, wait. My, da my dad is paying 26 and I'm paying 44, I'm super sorry. I'm paying $44, my dad is paying $26. So my dad is paying for um uh ten dollars like ten dollars under a half something like that he's paying for like a quarter or maybe a third anyway this is what it looks like this is the box or the unboxing this is Versace Eros so you can't quite see it in like the light but oh, there you go and this is the Etta Toilette they they actually have they came out um just two years ago in 2020. So this, the editorial that came out in 2012, it's 10 years ago, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure, you know, I just bought this, I'm sure in like a month they'll have a limited edition bottle of 10 years, because it's 2022. And then eight years later, or two years ago, 2020, they came out with an edit perfume, which is a little bit more expensive, it's a little more manly, I took a pass on that. And then in 2018, so four years ago, and two years before the, um, and a perfume they had Versace Eros Flame, which is like the red bottle. It's just more cinnamony. It's not. It's just more cinnamony. It just smells a lot more spicy. This one's more clean. And I have no idea what this is, but I'm assuming it's a tester. So let's just open that. I I, I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna attempt to open it here. Oh. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be open because it's not really, like, coming off the box, so to say. Uh, no, there's something in here. What is it, though? I can just smell my fingers and I can smell the, the fragrances because I always, I, I kind of miss spray sometimes. Not into, not, I, I, I don't spray into the tester by accident, but whatever. Ow. I don't know what the heck these are, but they were just on it. That's kind of weird. Alright, I just had to throw some stuff out. My dad said, okay, what are you doing? Um, unboxing video for the arrows. And my dad was there, of course, when I bought it, too. He actually had to pay for it in full, but I'm just going to give him my $46 uh, after this video. 
and then that'll be substituting. You'll only be paying 26. Anyway, you guys are probably waiting for me to open it. Let's get to it. This is the, oh yes, this is the 50 milliliter bottle. It's over 1.7 ounces. And I'll go get another fragrance of mine that is the exact same size so I can compare. And this that's pretty much how big this this one will be. Oh good. So this is how big the cologne's gonna be. Maybe in a different like it's it's like this. It's not as tall, it's more like thick and girth. Uh, and yeah, so this is this is Mediterranean by Carthusia. This is the last fragrance I got. I don't remember when I got it. Maybe a month ago. Maybe I think it was like a little over a month ago. And I really like it. As you see, I haven't used too much of it, but it's my only edit perfume that I own. Actually, this one's an edit toilet. This is my only edit perfume. Usually, I put five sprays in my cologne on, but this one I only use three sprays. One, two, three. Um, just because it's an edit perfume, it's really strong. My edit toilet, I do five. The Royal Lime, I do uh, for the five. I go one, two, three, four, five. The, for the Royal Lime, it's an it's an edit colonia, which is like the second lowest oil concentration. Oh yeah. You know, I do seven. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the hair, six, seven. And the one I own is an Efrache. It's clean by cashmere. Efrache is like less than 5% oil concentration. It only lasts about two hours. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. But anyway, this is Mediterranean by Cathuzzi. I perfume. Only three sprays. This is 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces. And the cologne will look just like it in size. I'll do a comparison in a second. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. I just texted my mom that I got it. She's in Florida, actually. Lucky her. All right, Versace Arrows at a toilet, 50 milliliter or 1.7 ounces. Let's do it. I did not open this correctly. It's not supposed to look like that. Actually, it is. Never mind. I did. Oh, I did that perfectly. Oh my god, I'm so excited! All right, listen to that. Crinkle. Oh yeah. God, oh my god. Sorry, okay. I get really excited when I get a new fragrance. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you... I, I'm a fragrance collector. People collect sports cards. I'm sure they're as excited as I am when they collect, like, sports cards and stuff. 78%? Wait. Uh, uh... 22%? Huh. I guess this has 22% oil concentration, which is a lot for Meta Toilette, but... Anyway. I'm gonna do some ASMR. Just for a second. And there is a barcode scanner and a QR code on there. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, never mind. This is the exact same box. Okay. Here we go. Actually, let me just set my phone up here record it. Hold on. Okay. I'm recording on my phone for my mom. Hey mom, um, I am doing my unboxing of the Versace Eros. I'm actually filming um, on my computer right now as well. But yeah. Okay, y'all. YouTube, let's do it. Mom, let's do it. Versace Eros at a toilet. 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces. Oh, uh, where's the tab? Oh, here we go. Here we are. My bad. Nope, wrong way. Uh, hmm. here, no, here we go. Here we go. Okay. There's the Versace logo. Listen to the texture on my back. <clears throat> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here, let me move this over. There's the back. Listen to that. 
really nice textured glass Versace arrows at a toilette. And there's the, the cap. It's really cool. It's like an N. And, on, and there's a, the embossed logo. And the gold and blue cap. And then the gold vaporizers. Now, right, I'm going to end this. Okay, I ended the recording for my mom. Okay, so I'm going to take the cap. Actually, hold on. Let me put the cap back on for this one. All right, comparison. They look practically the same. I mean... Let's see, we take the caps off. Let's see. Oh, cap size does vary, but. Oh, yeah. It, it appears the Versace Eros is like a little bit smaller. It's just girthier. It's not much smaller. I mean, for all I know, the Versace Eros could be like 47 or 48 ounces or milliliters, and they could be scamming me, but I doubt it. I don't know. Looks like a really. I don't know. Cool, 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 cool. Mm, and this this smells really good. It's like a lemon scent. All right, I gotta send my mom that video. It's pretty lit. But it was like a minute and a half, which I'm pretty scared about. I highly doubt it's gonna ascend, but we will try. Okay. Anyway, so holy shiitake, we unboxed it. This is the coolest fragrance bottle I've. I, I, uh, it's not the coolest because, honestly, the Phantom was just so cool. But, like, I love this. This is such a sick-ass bottle. Like, I'm going to do five sprays of this stuff because it's the night's well at. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. You already know tomorrow's going to be a part two when I spray it for the first time. And I'm going to do five sprays tomorrow because it's going to be a Monday. I don't have school because it's President's Day. I'm going to see what my dad says. And I may, I may hang out. Oh, I am. I'm going to hang out with my friend Jackson. I'm going to ask him what he thinks. And if both of them are like, oh, too strong, I'll do three sprays. Because, I mean, like, for instance, the Sculpture Own Cologne I did, that's five sprays. The Phantom, I did five sprays. And my friend, like, was like, hey, my friend Armando, he respectfully told me, dude, you're choking me out. Don't do that many sprays. And he has cologne, too. Um, so I was like, all right. Pet, so I, I now I just one two three instead of one two three four five, um, you know something like the royal line. Yeah, I do seven to school. Does no does no one notice? Yeah, no one notices. Have I gotten you know I've gotten some compliments off it because it's noticeable, but seven isn't that much for that um specific, specific fragrance. You know something like um Dior Sauvage Parfum, three one spray could be enough. Just a quick like could get you 12 hours of that crazy perfume stuff. Most fragrances are never perfumes. A lot of them are at a toilette, and then they're later turned into other perfumes, just like this one. But then there's perfume, which is, like, I think up to, like, 25, 30% oil concentration. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Dior Sauvage Elixir is, like, 30 or... Th I think it's, like, Dior Sauvage Elixir is, like, 35%, and then the Eda Parfum is 5%. Is it's uh, 30%. I don't know. Something like that, but, um... I'm just making sure the bottle's full. I think it's scammed. No idea. Yeah, it's it's full. Oh, and there's like the little sprayer curved down in there. Spray it. Kidding. Mm. Here, thumbnail. All right. Well, that's it. Ooh la la. Did the video sent to my mom? Oh, I did deliver. Hey, mom. Uh, there's the Versace logo. I moan like, mm. it's fine. Ooh la la. So, whew, okay. Now, when people say some fragrances aren't meant for the office, or they're only like, a lot of people say this isn't meant for the office, only good for going out. Bull crap. If you go to the club, sure, go like one, two, three, four, five. For school, one, two, three. 
Though, I'm probably not going to do less than three sprays in this, just because I think that's like, it's not using it to the best of its ability, but it's pretty cool. And yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Versace Eros with that really cool cap. I mean, like, those, I admire that cap. I like the blue and the gold, and then it's like a kind of a turquoise green and blue. What a nice texture in the back, too. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. That is, that is my unboxing of the Versace Eros and Toilette 1.7 ounce or 50 milliliter. Tomorrow, I'll upload my first time using it. And probably Tuesday, a review of how my peers thought of it. Thanks for watching, y'all.